Good morning, Sagittarius. I hope this day finds you well and welcome to the morning message. And this is a message that wants to come through to you today. It may not be happening today. It might be happening today. But yeah, let it unfold, Sag. If you're looking for personal readings, please check out the link in my description. And I always, always do an extended reading for the morning, for the daily reading and whatever else I feel I deem necessary. Right? So, <laughs> because there's always a lot of information in the daily reading. So, let's get to it, Sag, because it looks pretty, it looks pretty exciting and kind of happy Gemini season. So, we're very much moving in the duality of life. And that is, you know, two things can exist in the same space. <clears throat> Definitely Gemini season is a time in which that we are more social, more, more vocal, may even be, <laughs> you know, um, connecting more online. Uh, that's very much because, you know, that's very much highlighted, so... If you have things you're trying to get attention to, now is really a good time for that. It's also a good time to connect with people in the romance area, to be honest. It is. For Sagittarius, because Gemini is our sister sign, right? Think the lovers. It's a good time for connecting. So Sagittarius, let's get into it. Because I'm, I'm kind of seeing... It's very interesting to me is that there's very much this energy of this and that are true for me with with your energy. You know, definitely, it's not that, like, there isn't healing or there isn't, we are in completion. And we do have a full moon in Sagittarius happening, but there's also a lot going on, so... Um, when we're going through completion, we may have this, this thought process that that means that we have to be by ourselves, you know, um, be in isolation. And I, I think the very opposite is true in this case. I think we're not going to be in isolation. We're still going to be healing though, you know, still bringing things to completion. So... I mean, you could really find yourself in this energy where there's a limbo, you know, but that doesn't mean that you close yourself off from the world. And I, I feel like, you know, sometimes that is our tendency, I think, because Sagittarius definitely is a sign that does, you know, fixes our own problems by ourselves. That's our, that's our true nature. Um, and think. Maybe you think that that's all you have time to do, but that's not at all what's happening. <laughs> so there's definitely sitting in the lessons of the past. And, you know, wolf spirit, turn knowledge into wisdom, learn from the past. It feels like a really good energy to me. Um, embrace the in-between so you're closing things out so I don't even think necessarily this is completion uh, you know because you're not still learning it you've learned the lessons and now you're kind of processing how to apply that to where you're going okay yes namaste cray namaste cray but what's interesting is that there are some possibilities here for fun coming in even as you're doing this even as you're like um closing things out rounding off you know more difficult things there is playfulness you're being called to lighten up a little bit um because you know gemini also will have us getting in our head too much about things and it's kind of telling you that if the same thing as yesterday if you allow yourself to have a little bit of fun, to lighten up a little bit, all of, like, the answers that you want are going to come. Sometimes we got to take a step back from whatever the issues are, you know. And what's amazing here, Sag, is that 
you're not moving in lack anymore. Like, so you're, what you're healing exactly, what you're letting go of is the, the, the thinking that things have to be hard or that you don't have enough. You know, you're letting that go. I feel like that's what you're healing. And that's what these lessons have been teaching you. And that it's okay to also enjoy life. You know, out there with other people. <laughs> yeah, Sagittarius. I know, it's hard for me too. Because I am like a loner spirit to the max. So, underneath the deck... The Eight of Wands, the Nine of Pentacles, and the Three of Wands. Some of you are moving. I, I can't get away from it. And I've seen it in other readings. I feel like there are people who are moving. And so, you know, you may receive good news. This was under the deck, so it's not specifically here right in this moment, but it's what's rising and once it starts to happen, it starts to happen very quickly uh, with the Eight of Wands, the Nine of Pentacles, and the Three of Wands. So you definitely, if money is the issue, right, it is coming, right? The solution is coming. The way is coming. Because with the Nine of Pentacles, we have everything we need. And a lot of the times that, you know, Pentacles transfer into... The money is showing up for you to be able to move towards what you want. If you're moving, and those are moving cards, you know, um, it's going to come and it's going to come quickly, right? And then, so it can be like just all of a sudden, you have what you need to, to be able to do what you've been waiting to do. And it happens really quick, you know, so... Mm -mm. Delays are really becoming over, Sagittarius. I love this for you. The kind of day is the Queen of Wands and the Two of Wands. Like the same thing. It's, it's your path is forming. You're, you're, everything is coming together. And, you know, the Queen of Wands kind of, what I love about that energy is that one line that I'll learn as I go. You're, you what you're seeing is that even though you don't have all the answers, even though you don't have everything you need right at this moment, the key is not that. It's still making plans. For whatever you want, make the plans. You know, pick out the house. Book the travel. You don't have to, like, book it the whole way. But, you know, that's a key part of manifestation, just knowing that, Things are coming together. You'll figure it out as you go along. The, the point is just, you know, to solidify the plans, right? What you don't see is the Knight of Wands and the Fool. It's like as soon as you do that, things start to happen. Things start to happen. So maybe you just, you know, write out your plan. Maybe you just book the trip. Maybe you just, you know, whatever it is. You're not giving it too much thought. You're just kind of, you know, with the two of wands, we do have to make a decision on which way we're going. So I just think like you're coming up with the master plan. You know, once you do, you're going to find that everything kind of falls in line. Yeah, the knight of wands and the fool. You know, and you definitely are taking a risk here. You are, but, you know, the Queen of Wands reminds us that no matter what happens, I'll be okay. I'll be okay because I always figure it out. <laughs> you know? Wow. Wow. And, and with the Nine of Wands here in the world, it's like, there isn't this need anymore, Sag. And this is the cycle that's completing, like, survival mode or, you know, because the Nine of Wands is very much about perseverance and the need to protect ourselves. And, you know, the universe is telling you you don't need to do that anymore. You, you don't need to protect yourself anymore. Maybe you're even being more focal about what you're, I mean, more vocal about your plans but it's kind of telling you that you know 
you can't fail here. And it's time to come out of this, this mode of feeling like you have to protect yourself. Like you have to keep yourself from others. Um, because Ace of Wands, geez, it's moving. It's getting ready to move really quickly. And, and you know what? You don't have to keep thinking that something's going to go wrong. You, you can get excited about it. That's what the Ace of Wands is, the spark. You can get excited about it, Sagittarius. The world is telling you that your new cycle is coming and it's all going to work out. It's all going to work out, you know. And sometimes, uh, you know, the challenge is believing that, to be quite honest. And a little bit of resisting change. Like, the death card reverse with the Ten of Wands kind of says, you know, um, a reluctance to let go of the heaviness, right? Ten of Wands is a completion. It is telling you that the hard times are over. And there may be within you this kind of, well, I don't know if I believe it. And there's always, though, something that with this energy that you have to let go of. But it might be as simple as just letting go of the feeling that something will go wrong. And... Or that you can't believe that this is all really happening. Because it's happening, Sag. It is happening. So we're going to take a, a look at some of these energies and see. And then we'll see the mystery cards. Mm. Yeah. So let's see what is this lesson. Oh, Knight of Swords. Okay. What is the lesson? Page of Pentacles. Yeah. King of Swords. Kind of really letting people go that don't want to grow, to be honest. You know, they'd rather stay where they are and also... Like, you don't need to keep planning, planning, planning. I know I just told you to plan with the Two of Wands. But it's really, I, I do feel like there's more here about taking action, honestly. Okay, so tell us about this fun. Tell us about the fun. Where's the fun? Oh, the fool. The Nine of Cups, the fun is just, you know, for a change, just doing things that you want to do um, with the Nine of Cups, you know, doing things that are good for you or that your heart feels connected to, definitely in terms of <coughs> maybe you haven't, maybe there's things here that you've always wanted to do, but you haven't done for this or that reason. You're going to be doing it. I'm doing it. What is this that Saj is letting go of? Waiting. And and the way you see things, right? What is Saj letting go of? Ace of Wands. Okay, for some, um, yeah, it's kind of the thought of, I can't do this until I have this. I can't do this until I have this. Until, you know, I just got to keep, you know, working really hard. And once I get to a certain level of success, <coughs> I can do this or I can do that. You're not doing that anymore. You're just knowing that what you need is going to come. But I also think, you know, you're not keeping as much to yourself. Maybe you really thought you had to. And you may be really being, like I said, more vocal even online about the about what you're focused on, about what you want to do, about what, you know, even you're learning. So that's really nice. In terms of the people affecting your week... <coughs> There's a lot here about making things work. 
blacksmith. There could be someone helping you. You know, um, there could be someone showing up to help you because we're seeing forging, tempering with manifestation. Someone powerful helping you with something, which could have something to do with being a parent. Um, and it definitely could have to do with court for those that that applies to. They're helping you with something. Um, it could be paperwork. You know? Very interesting, because that was very specific. <laughs> that was very, very specific, right? But you definitely need to let go of this mentality that things are hard. And, you know, that may be hard because you kind of are in this in-between stage and you haven't seen evidence of your burdens being released. Um, but they, they are. And it's like all you have to do is overcome this reluctance to plan for the future. So tell me about the Two of Wands here. Queen of Wands, Two of Wands. The Moon. Oh. Queen of Wands, Two of Wands. What's the Two of Wands about? King of Swords, Female. Just like feeling like you can't do things because you have too many obligations. You know, and you, the King of Swords female is, is there for everyone else, is listens to everyone else. You know, and there was a big energy too about really doing stuff for yourself. Which is really hard when you, you are a nurturer and it, and you take care of others, right? So tell us about this new adventure. Knight of Wands and the Fool. I would definitely say that you, you know, many of you do feel weighed down by obligations and like that hold you back from doing things. So Knight of Wands and the Fool. But all of a sudden, like, possibilities are opening up to you. And, you know, maybe, oh, yes, yes. Seven of Cups and Judgment. It's like all of a sudden you have so many choices. And it starts with just making the plan. Just deciding that you're going in a particular direction and, you know, doing it, right? You don't know how you can do it. But it's just about deciding to do it. And once you decide to do it, even take small steps, look into things, whatever, it's the choices are going to show up for you. And you are going to make a decision with judgment being here. And I don't know, you know. It's just I'm not going to wait for everything to line up for me to, to do it. Eight of Wands. I swear, and I can't, it's like the same message keeps coming out, is once you decide to do it, it lines up, and then moves really quickly, and the answer might be online, because the Eight of Wands has come out a few times, let's cover her up. And suddenly, you know, it's allowing yourself to believe that it can be done. Like, because you're so used to just persevering, that may be difficult. So tell me about the Nine of Wands. It may just be that it's hard to believe once it happens. The Nine of Wands for Sagittarius. Eight of Pentacles, okay. Two of Cups. Interesting. Someone may be helping you here. So tell me about death reversed with the Ten of Wands. Page of Wands. You're getting good news. I just kind of feel like you don't know if you can believe it. King of Cups. Someone is still, they're showing up to help. 
especially in the money department. Okay, okay. So let's take a look at the mystery cards. Sagittarius. Look at this. There's a message coming in. The lovers is here and change. So that could be from a romantic partner. About a change. And there, it kind of looks like there's travel here. Especially as there's a vehicle. So someone could be coming towards you. We'll take a look at that in the extended. Because that's who I am. <laughs> so let's take a look and see what your mantra is for the day. What is Sagittarius's mantra? All that I need is coming to me in ways I could have never imagined. Amen, amen. <laughs> and it is, Sag, we're seeing that. We're definitely seeing it. Wow, I love this for you. So that's what I have for you, Sagittarius. I hope it really helps. And I'll talk to you soon. Toodles.